This Knight Rider build is a hard hitting and versatile loadout. Equipped with a heavy Knight Rider glaive with Storm Assault and Ash of War that provides insane harp armor, allowing you to poise through just about anything and deal great damage. The heavy Knight Rider flail with Flaming Strike will be our offhand weapon. Paired with the complete Knight Rider armor set for a complete Knight Rider build, providing a loadout that works perfectly fine for PvE and PvP. Remember to stick around to the end of the video or click the on-screen timestamp now for the build breakdown. Hey. Alright, so it looks like dude over there has dual Nagakibas. Pretty scary build, but I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Now I know what you got. Ooh, he's actually not as aggressive as I thought he's gonna be. Oh, bad trade for you, bro. <laughs> Dude, we got him with the backswing of the freaking... Oh my god, that was awesome. GG. Got Wade. With the Edge Lord vibes. With the Grave Scythe. Oh, I think he has an offhand... Where's that? A dagger? Okay. Oh! Dude! That was... I was not expecting that. Go. Oh, GG. That's all she wrote. This guy was doing triple status effects. Hey, hey. Next step is Dala Valmi something. Or other. Lightning Swihander. Very guy. Very it's a good setup, actually. Is, all, is that all he's gonna do? Like. Dude, how did he... Okay, I have no idea how he managed to not even, like, get caught by that, but... If pokes is what you want, then pokes is what I'll give you, bro. Let's try it in there with the flaming strike for the win. GG. But that is old metal, though. Kramer, why do you have to... Hello, Noman. Alright, Betty. On behalf of Jerry... I should be taking you out. Oh, the Shamshir, bro. That weapon, dude. It's... Uh, how? Oh. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. And that's how you take care of that. G. G. Next up is another duo naga. No. That's... Wait, yeah. Wait, no, wait, no, what? That's something I've never seen before. Swai and Shamshu. Actually, this guy is just an abomination of those last two opponents. No way. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Sacred Blade. Dude, I really thought I had him there. This guy is also just crouch poking like up the ass. Oh, okay, nice. That was nice. Good counter. <laughs> We're gonna finish it with the offhand flail. Dude, this setup is actually not that bad. I, I, it, it's better than I thought it'd be. And it's Leo with the uber tryhard armor. What's up, bro? Another swine. I do a lot of freaking swine handers today. Um, what do we is this ring around the Rosie? Come on, bro. I'm trying to get you with this flail. Get your fat rolling. <laughs> I, I, I would not be maining this weapon if he wasn't fat rolling. I'll tell you that much. Okay, that was actually a pretty decent hit. Wow. Alright, just got I gotta give him props for dodging that second part of Flame Strike. Blood Golem? And what it looks like to be a claymore, an honest claymore. No, never mind. He that is that is not honest at all, good sir. Oh yeah, that's it's a nasty one. It, I'm wondering, does he have blood on that? He doesn't even have blood on. And how the? Why is Storm Assault being so wishy-washy today, bro? Get it. Let's go. Let's freaking go off hand flail for the win, baby. 
And we have a Vagabond with pretty fancy armor and a pretty scary setup actually. Giant whip. Oh dude, that, that weapon art is sick man. I like it. Oh, let's get him. Let's go. You're done. <laughs> dude, I just love bashing people on the head with the flare, bro. It's it's so much fun. <laughs> GG. And that's definitely a mage, no doubt about that. Ah, at least she's using the death magic. And typical mage behavior of just running away. Come on, bro, you have an offhand Crips hurt. You should be more aggressive. He's just trying to get him space, but it's just not gonna work. GG. Next up, we have. I don't know. Some gravesite build. Ooh, and an offhand katana. It's actually a pretty good setup. That looks like a frostic build, maybe an arcane build. <laughs> oh man, get that freaking piece of shit katana out of my face, man. Next up is Stockpile Lemon. <laughs> With the bonk. Always fun to see a bonk. Ooh, that was a good try. That was a good try there, bonk. I have too much poise for that, though. Ah, oh, come on, bro. That's just not gonna work. But this is... GG, Mr. Bonk. Next up, an ultra great sword waifu. With oh, oh okay, it's a rapier. Oh, ah, very nice. I was not expecting that one. But I have not had weapon too, bro. Man, quick step is just it's just kind of old at this point. But the flail just won't. Well, it just will never get old killing people with it. <laughs> it's like an execution with it. Ooh, look who's back. Hello, mommy. Pretty sure she or he would love to be called mommy. I know just his type. And get out of here with that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> He gave it the good old college try, but it just wasn't enough. Not for freaking Storm Salt. And it's very interesting. With. Not a bleed build? Oh, it's a magic build. Like, I don't even gotta say anything. That's. That was just dirty. Oh, look who's back. Oh, and he's cocky and fat. He, he doesn't want to lose, man. He pulled out the Nagakiba. Okay, of course. It's spinning slash. And this time it is a bleed build. So why wouldn't it be? Damn it. Nope. <laughs> Bro, what? Dude. <laughs> um, a Palestinian... Try hard. Looks very try hard ish. Whoa, what the? I thought I pressed R1. Why didn't R2 come out? There it is. Come on. How the hell? What? You've got to be kidding me. No. I poke. Or not. Poke? Aha. Uh -huh. We'll catch it is. Poke. R2. Weapon art. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Good match, actually. GG. I enjoyed that. And it's another one of Steve Lofsky's boys. Of course. One of his goons. Gooning. Or not. I mean, he's double handing one. We're gonna try and finish him off with the flail, though. Oh, what the? 
I hate you. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Ah, you just... That should have been it. At least he's not too hack. Or dual wielding them, I mean. But I, I actually I think it'd be better for him to dual wield them because he is. Oh, there it is. Okay. He's suddenly realizing that he doesn't got what it take. No! Yes! <laughs> Dude, I love this fucking bashing on the head. That was awesome. GG. Dude, it's. Banished Night Knocker. Oh no. Fuck, I hate these guys. Ooh, let's go. Take it. Come on. Bro, what? You son of a. Oh, bro. No! God damn you, fuck! Oh my. If you guys don't think that build is overpowered, there's your visual aid right there. What's up guys, it's Ghost Prodigy here, and welcome back to another build breakdown. But before we do that, if you guys enjoyed what you guys watch, please remember to leave a like rating on the video, subscribe to the channel for more Elden Ring PvP content, and without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the main weapon of choice is the heavy Nightmare of Glaive plus 25 with Storm Assault. And the offhand we have the heavy Knight Rider Flail plus 25 with Flaming Strike. We're gonna be using the complete Knight Cavalry armor. Our rings are Urdent Trigger plus 2, the Prosthesis Wear Heirloom, Shard of Alexander, and the Bow Ghost Talisman. And you can never, ever forget about your fan daggers. So this build is actually very fairly easy to use because, well, Halberds are some of the best weapons in the game. Obviously the Running R1s are just devastatingly really just good overall. I found that if you got an R1 and you can stun your opponent. You can typically hit him once or twice with the flail, which is actually a pretty decent finishing off move. The running R2s can be chained into the weapon art, which just absolutely hits like a truck. I did find that with higher poised opponents, it was a little bit more harder to stagger them, but you shouldn't really have a problem at landing this. Okay, flails just absolutely suck. Big fat donkey dick. They have no range and they're just slow as shit. Which is why Flaming Strike is equipped on this. Just because Flaming Strike is basically the best Ash of War in the whole game. And you can just never go wrong with it. it. You can use it to cast people off guard with it. Especially if they have no idea that you have it. You know, you just switch to it real quick and then just blast them in the face with a big fireball. Other than that, there's not really much to say. Except for the fact that this is a really solid build. Very versatile. For both PvP and PvE. And overall, I really liked it actually. I wanted to go for more of a complete Knight Rider build, which is why we have both of the weapons that you get from Kalina and the complete armor sets. For our stats, we're at level 135, 60 vigor, 15 mind, 25 endurance, 70 strength, 24 dexterity, but that's only because of the ring, because in reality it's only at 19. But with all that being said, this has been your boy Ghost Prodigy. Remember to leave a like rating on the video, subscribe to the channel for more Elden Ring PvP content, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.